I will make a swing ride whirly gig. I will use this basswood block, this dowel for the hub of the propeller, this for the post and this piece for the base and the DC motor of a computer fan with the magnets removed. What else do I use? A wooden coaster, three 15 milliliter measuring scoops, a couple of peg dolls, and some chains. For the propeller I'm using the uh, cups which I removed from an earlier version of this whirly gig which didn't work. I have here the fan for a computer. I want to use this mechanism as the seat for a vertical axis propeller. Inside the computer fan is a brushless DC motor. The brushless DC motor has electromagnets, that's the stator, 
and a permanent magnet or permanent magnets outside and that is the rotor. Now, even without a current flowing through the electromagnets, there's a magnetic attraction between the electromagnets and the permanent magnets. And this attraction results in this rotary motion not rotating freely. It'll be hindered by that force between the electromagnets without a current flowing through them and the permanent magnet. In order to remove this force I must either remove the electromagnets or the permanent magnets. I think it would be easier to try to remove the permanent magnets. And that is what I'm going to do. So I'm now trying to remove the permanent magnets. So the magnet is inside here and I need to get at it to remove it. It must be in this part. I need to open it and remove it. So this is part of the magnet which is necessary for the DC motor to work. And which is hindering the free motion. And now it's gone and it can move freely. After I've done all this, I found out that there is a better way to remove the permanent magnets if you have the right kind of computer fan. I will explain this at the end of this video. Here are the coils of the electromagnets. Here's the lower plate 
and here sits the upper plate. So the rotation is now no longer hindered by the force between the permanent magnets and the electromagnets of the brushless DC motor.
So I found out that there is an easier way to remove the permanent magnets if you have this kind of a computer fan. On this side of the fan there is a little black rubber disc which can be removed. After this rubber disc is removed, the axle comes to light and a little polyethylene washer. After removing that washer, there's another little black rubber washer which also can be removed. Here are the two washers and that black rubber disc. After these two washers and the rubber disc are removed, one can just simply push out the fan with the permanent magnets inside. So here are the four electromagnets. And here are the four permanent magnets. So this is the permanent magnet or the permanent magnets which are necessary for the brushless DC motor to work but which are hindering the free rotation of the rotor. So let's see if the motion is now free. As a reminder, here's how it looked before the permanent magnets were removed. And this is how it looks now. So now it's rotating freely and I can use it for a vertical axis propeller.